for you guys. This is uh, out of order. Damaged in Italy. Look at this. Man, these Italians, I swear, they're really making it happen. Proud to say that because I am half Italian on my mother's side. And look at this. Wow. Look at that bad boy sweeping. So let me take it out of the box. Hang on to Wow, this is beautiful. It's got like a burnt bronze case. Appears to be a you know bigger watch, about 44 millimeter. Um, probably 14 inches thick, something like that, right around there. Um, or 14 millimeters thick, not inches. Um, ooh, look at that. I like that bezel. I like that big crown. It kind of, it has a, definitely has a Submariner uh, look to it. Um, especially the font on the um, bezel here. Um, really nice blue. I like this blue. Really cool. You got a date mag magnification there. This is a, a limited edition watch and this is the 007. So out of 100, this is 007. This is, for you to end up with this, this is pretty lucky. This is cool. Very cool. But I like this uh, burnt bronze case. It's really nice. I don't know how, I guess it's a PVD coating or something. I really like that. It's got a nice shape to it. Really nice uh, NATO strap. And then you have a real cool uh, leather strap too that it comes with. And it looks like it comes with some tools here. That's nice. And did I mention the box? Very cool box. Uh, this has the My Miyota um, non-hacking movement in it, which, you know, this is pretty much, you know, like the SKX movement by Seiko, pretty much. So this would have ended up in like Citizens and other watches like that, but uh, very good timekeeper. You've got the snowflake hands. Um, I believe these hour markers are the only ones that light up right here. Okay, and the hands, of course, and the second hand. But um, that's pretty much it. It's got a display case back, which if I can, let's see, let's see if we can maneuver this here. Um, yeah. Let's see if we can see that. I'm not sure if we can. Yeah, you see the rotor kind of spin. See the rotor spin around in there? Look at that. Ooh, look at that spin. So, I like that. That's cool. So anyway, even, I mean, I'm not sure exactly what this one costs. I think Aaron said around six, $700 MSRP. But that's still, I mean, for getting, I know you're getting a uh, Miyota movement. You're not getting, a, you know, Swiss made movement, but uh, it's still, very cool. I think these will sell, especially, you know, you only, there's only a hundred of them, you know, you can only buy, you know, there's only a hundred available. So I think this is, uh, I think it's nice. It's a good deal. Look at that. Let me put this bad boy on the wrist. Hang on. On the wrist. Look at that. The way that hugs the wrist. This kind of reminds me the same size of like the, well, a little bit bigger, uh, a little bit bigger than like a, um, you know what, this is actually probably the size of about a Rolex Deep Sea. Probably about that size. But still fits pretty well. Nice looking. Can't go wrong, man. Cannot go wrong. Look at that. Love those hands. That is cool. Looks kind of vintage and looks worn. Very nice. Anyway, guys, that is out of order. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching my videos. And this was Aaron's watch. This is going back to him. He's going to send it off. I've got some other ones coming. Um, and that's it. We'll talk to you later. Thank you. Goodbye.